Welcome to North Trail RV Center. My name is John Improta. This is a 2021 King Air, Newmar's most technologically advanced motor coach. What I'd like to start here with is the new totally redesigned front area of this motorhome. What they've done is infuse both LED lights and the RAD lights on this coach. Both are gonna give you a very high visibility when driving in the most obscure conditions. Very nice to drive both at night and during the day. A lot of people like driving these vehicles at night when it's not very crowded on the roads. Having a luxury coach like this with all the added security features such as on guard, the comfort drive, which is in its most advanced stage on the King Air with the on guard system is gonna give you a very stable coach and a very safe coach for night driving. What on guard systems does is gives you a collision avoidance feature so that if you are driving and happen to have someone cut you off or um, someone nails their brakes really quick, you're gonna have a time to react to that in a way where it's not gonna jolt you and uh, the people that you are traveling with. You also have uh, that comfort drive system that I was talking about, which is going to isolate you from road irregularities, crosswinds, um, by taking into effect those road irregularities and crosswinds so that they're not affecting your driving, taking away oversteer from the driver, and also giving you much larger tires than you normally see in most motor coaches. Again, isolating you from those irregular roads that you're going to uh, encounter on the highways out there. We use a one-piece automotive style windshield on this coach, which a lot of coaches are going to. One thing that is gonna be very unique on this coach though is we have incorporated that automotive style windshield into all of our glass on this coach. What that's gonna do is give you a really nice tight seal and eliminate that wind noise that all other coaches get while driving down the highway, giving you a very, very quiet driving compartment and coach compartment. We also have an articulating entry doorstep. When this comes out, it'll sense if there's a curb in the way or if the coach is down lower, it will not come down any further than the coach is, just so it doesn't interrupt the step from coming down. And it'll actually space out those steps in a way so that you have just enough space in between those steps so you can get into that coach. You've got a camera here for security so you can always see who's outside at your door without even have to get out of your bed at night. And then you have an entry code and a doorbell, making it nice and easy to access your coach without having to carry keys around with you. Another nice feature that you're gonna see on these King Airs exclusively is a soft touch basement compartment doors. Just like in your luxury automobiles, all you need to do is a slight close Again, just close mechanically. We've gone to a new basement compartment. These compartments are now lined with a new feature. This, this feature is designed to make it much easier to clean. It is a feature that you can get wet, so if you decide you want to spray this out or wash it, you can, as well as you can still vacuum it. But it is much lighter in color than the Ozite we used previously. It'll work really, really well with the LED lights we put in here, so you can actually see everything that's in this basement now. So if you're packing this full of stuff, that dark carpet we used to use, things would get lost in here. So you can actually put items in here. With those lights on, you're gonna be able to see everything in this basement. Plus, now you can actually keep it much cleaner. It does also have a much nicer, higher end look to it. All these other compartments here have the uh, automatic slide trays, which make it nice and easy to access anything that's further back in the basement. The front does come out, and so you can easily put heavier items in here without having to lift up over that edge. And we've utilized all our space here by giving you a second shelf so you can put items in there without stacking them on top of your initial basement slide tray. All these doors here do have secondary override systems on them. So if these systems here, these locks do not open for you, you do have a drawstring that you can release these doors open for you if there is a failure to those to that system. We do have the outside entertainment system, which is an articulating arm. You can bring out, pivot down, if you are sitting on a lawn chair, and then, again, does lock in place. Does have the Bose soundbar, 
which you can again uh, stream music to or use for the sound off the TV. We've gone with a larger basement freezer fridge. Also have your outside vacuum access. Not only does it give you access to dispose your vacuum bags, but you also have access to actually vacuum out the basement bays. Little area we call the tool shed. You wanna put any of your extra oils or filters or anything in here, it's a nice place for it. Easy to keep clean. And again, it's illuminated all with LED lights. This year we've gone to a full lithium ion system. We've mated them to that Xantrex inverter system so that it does speak to the interior of this coach. The silver leaf system on here, your batteries will not ever die on this coach. The way this works now is it's when it gets to say 17% of the batteries on here, the batteries are simply gonna shut off and go into the generator mode or the, if you're plugged in, let's go into your shore power mode. You won't draw off these batteries until they charge up to a charge rate and then you'll go back into your battery mode. Most people think by upgrading this type of technology, you have to relearn all over again how to use a motorhome like this. It's actually the exact opposite. Newmar's made it very easy to use this coach. And when we go inside, I'll show you just how easy that is. Articulating rear steering wheel. Again, it's gonna make that maneuvering this coach very, very nice. Get into that, those tight areas and, and not drag that rear wheel like you had to do in some of those older coaches. Um, Newmar's been doing this for a while, so they've pretty much got that system down now. Um, and again, these, these, are make, these are the way to go on, on these newer coaches. Um, a lot of brands have not gone that way yet, but these guys have been doing it for a while and pretty much have it down. Um, Newmar's always been really good at giving you a nice service bay here. Breakers for their uh, chassis batteries and coach batteries. And then they're all service for their fuses also for their fuel water separators and uh, air dryers. This coach has a 20,000 pound hitch on it, and it also comes from Spartan with the tow brake. So you don't have to tap into this chassis at all for towing your vehicles. Everything is done right from the Spartan manufacturing. As you can see, Newmar has come with the stainless finish on here, going through the radiator, all the way down the coach, side of the coach all the way around the front of this coach. Again, over here in this compartment where you're gonna see the other side of this battery bank, that's again, all lithium batteries. Those batteries should last you as long as you own this coach. Over here, you're gonna see we have our water bay. Very, very easy to use. It does have the Santacon turbo in there, which is gonna make draining the water that you've used in this motorhome very, very quickly. And you do still have gravity dump in here for those guys that just want to use a standard gravity dump or if you've blown a fuse and just want to bypass that Santa Con system. Outside shower, nice, nice big shower head out here. Um, and you can also read your black and gray water tanks right outside here without having to go inside to realize if you need to dump or not. Power cord reel, as you can see, it's an improvement over the previous years. They've given you a lot more room a lot more access to the fuses and, and uh, access points for those fuses in that bay. This coach comes equipped with the pressure washer and the coach is going to have a filtered water system. The water is going to be all filtered for this coach. Take a closer look, you can see more of those bonded windows that we were talking about. You're not going to see this in any other motorhome. A lot of other RVs, you'll be looking at that. There'll be a steel ring around there. They'll just catch wind as you're driving down the, down the road and all that will start, start whistling and shaking and make it a lot of racket in the motorhome. This will be as quiet as a luxury automobile would be. That, that glass is not gonna rattle as you're going down the road. This is your service access area for the front of the coach. If you wanted to access your generator, you got a generator slide button in here, which would push that generator out to access and service that if you ever needed to, or if you needed to, get into your access to the bulbs in the front of this. So again, we've got the, um, HID lights along with the LED lights in the front of this coach, giving you that very high visibility. This coach also has a 360 camera system, which is gonna give you that bird's eye view of the coach while you're driving down the road. So you can be just looking at your dash on a very big monitor, just to see exactly where you are in traffic, to see what is around you before you have to take an exit or move from lane to lane. You'll know exactly where you are on the highway and what is around that coach. So no matter who's driving this motorhome, it's gonna be very easy to see where you are and not to hit anything when moving around. And as you can see, we have the complete awning system. Every awning is fully electric. They're automatically gonna come in. If you have a uh, wind or rain come up on you suddenly, 
It does have a motion sensor. It's going to notice that sudden wind. It'll shake a little bit and bring those, those awnings in. Um, it does also have the feature of the uh, electric window awnings on here as well. If you like, we'll go on the inside and I'll show you some of the inside features that have been upgraded this year on this coach. So as you can see, we now have a retracting screen door that you can get totally out of your way. And our grab bar is now wrapped to give you a nice grip on there as you're coming up the steps. We finished off that dash in a real leather and all of our seats have now gone to a real leather with a nice pattern on them. Those we have multiple colors you can choose from. Our cabinetry is now a Italian European style finish on here, which is a huge upgrade. We've gone to the 8K QLED TVs on here, which is going to really give you a nice picture. This coach is fully outfitted for streaming, TV, Blu-ray. This coach is outfitted for any type of video source you'd want to get in here. You got your Wi-Fi that'll bring in your own Netflix if you already have that or or Voodoo or any kind of account from Apple or Amazon. Whatever you have, you can already bring into these smart TVs. A lot of people don't even use their satellite anymore. This coach has already been equipped with the fireplace and the two recliner theater seats with the articulating posing booth up here, which will come out and extend further to give you additional seating if you're going to have more guests at that table. That nice big, as you can see, the way we've done that counter this year, you can barely tell that there's cutouts on there for the sink or the stove top there. Um, they've done that laser cutting on that. So you, again, you can barely tell that those cutouts on that countertop are even there. And that backsplash is mounted to perfection there where you can, again, hardly see any type of opening there. So any type of splatter or anything on there, you won't have to worry about any grout or anything that needs to be cleaned. Everything is just mounted in there perfectly. All the kitchen components have been upgraded. You're gonna see this year, they've gone to that Wolf induction cooktop. Over here, you're gonna see that they've gone to a Viking convection microwave oven. You've got this nice little automatic hideaway system for that convection. Also, you've gone to upgraded to a nice large Viking fridge. No more Samsung or LG. You're gonna find this is gonna give you a nice amount of space in here, much more than you're used to in a motorhome, both in the freezer and in the fridge. If you look up front here, you're gonna see they've done a nice change here for the ceiling treatment. The air conditioning in this coach is gonna cool this immediately. They've expanded those the, the way the ducts are laid out in this coach here, so you're gonna see the nice big wide uh, spread here a little different from how they had it in the past. You're also gonna notice that the way that they've done the front of this coach as far as the um, shades are gonna to be totally different than they've done the bedroom, which is nice to be able to go from the living room and enter the bedroom and have a kind of a different atmosphere. Um, and we'll show you that as we get into the bedroom. But um, again, when you, one nice thing about what Numar's done is you have those service panels. Um, as you can see, one up by the uh, theater seats over there to your left, another by the fireplace. You're gonna have another um, in the kitchen area. The tile has been totally redone this year in this coach. A nice satin finish, nice wide blank board, um, which is gonna give you just a nice elegant look to here. Having these nice wide boards in the coach is gonna open the coach wide up. Newmar has got rid of anything that's unnecessary in the motorhome. They've got rid of anything as far as protruding handles. There's no need for them any longer. You can just easily open these cabinet doors. They've given you a nice overhang on the bottom of these cabinets. So you just open them nice right up. Another nice thing is on the outside of these cabinets, a lot of the old coaches, you would touch them and it would leave a, uh, a film from your hands. You're not gonna notice that happen on these, the way they've done the finish on these cabinets. Again, if you look, all these cabinets are much larger than they were in the past. That increased storage is gonna mean a lot to you. If you're gonna decide on going a long trip or using the coach full time. You can also see what it did over here by going with those big windows that we showed you on the outside. Again, eliminating all that unnecessary hanging, lighting, or the um, wall sconces have just opened that right up and embedding those LED lights into the ceiling there. Another nice thing that they've done is the hideaway outlets. So if you are deciding you need to wash these counters down, spray them down, wipe them down, you don't have these outlets in the way or 
against the wall. They, have, they are hit away and there's plenty of them, whether you're in the kitchen or in the living room. You also have these walk-in sensors. If they are on, you'll be able to walk through the coach at night. And as you walk through the coach, throughout the different sections of the coach, the lights will just go on as you walk through it. You do have USB, USB uh, plug-ins throughout the coach as well. So you won't have to carry all those charging blocks with you wherever you go. You can just simply pl plug in your, your phone or throughout here. You do have uh, wireless charging systems up in the front and in the bedroom. So you won't even have to keep wires up in those areas. But if you have guests or whatever, you do have some plug-in stations throughout the coach that don't require plug charging blocks. I do want to point out how they've changed this here for you. Instead of having these cabinet doors, which do get in the way, swinging open, up, up and open, this is going to give you a much more storage by giving you this pull-out drawer. And again, please look back and see how much storage you have compared to the years of the past. Over here, you have an additional counter space if you wanted to put some drinks out or some type of uh, entertaining that you wanted to put out here with additional storage inside that counter. And as you can see, the, the quality of the dovetail construction on these cabinets, Numar has cut any corners on their cabinetry. Just the span of these, cab of these countertops, to give you an idea how, how deep these countertops are, you'll be able to cook, put a tray in the back, push a pan to the back. Um, with these quartz countertops, you're not gonna have to worry about um, damaging them at all. You know, this is just gonna be a very, very high quality um, finish on here. And again, the, uh, the materials they're using are, are second to none. The, the Numar does not pull any punches on this coach. Uh, they, are, they are giving you a true high-end luxury motorhome. Um, you can also go ahead and set this coach up to pretty much be foolproof I spoke earlier about how the technology in this coach is advanced but much easier to use than past models. In this coach, one of the things that has, has been improved is actually how to use this coach and not be bogged down by all the technology. Some of the things that people have asked me in the past is, hey, I'm going to be storing this motorhome and I don't want to make sure my batteries go dead. Or I'm going to be parking it outside and I want to make sure that my generator goes on or I want to make sure my generator stays charged. Now remember, you got those lithium batteries on here, so it's going to be a little bit different, but it's also going to require a lot less thinking on your part, especially from options that they've added on here, which is on your, from your home screen, it's called coach mode. So all you're going to do is you're going to hit this little button here and from coach mode, you're gonna have some options. These options light up right over here. One, active camping. Two, outdoor unplugged. Three, outdoor plugged in. Four, indoor unplugged. Five, indoor plugged in. So let's say you're gonna be indoor plugging this in in a warehouse somewhere, right? You're gonna hit this button right here. And what that's gonna do for you automatically is gonna disable your auto gen. And it's gonna enable your chargers. Why is it gonna do that? Because you don't want your generator starting up while you're inside a warehouse. And it's gonna, it's gonna enable your chargers so your battery stay charged. Makes sense. Again, all you've had to do now was enable that system by activating it. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to be indoor, but we're unplugged. Now that we're indoor unplugged, you've selected that, but we want to activate it. It's switched over. So it's disabled our Oasis, disabled our Autogen, disabled our chargers, and disabled our inverters. Pretty self-explanatory. Outdoor plugged in. Activate it. What's it doing? Enabling our oasis. It's gonna burn, it's gonna do everything it's supposed to do. It's going to disable our auto gen because we don't need it because we're plugged in. And it's gonna enable our chargers. We might as well be charging everything and making sure they stay charged while we're plugged in. Outdoor unplugged, let's activate it. What's that gonna do? Disable our inverters. 
and then we'll go to active camping. So as you can see, the bedroom here, like I said, they changed the blackouts in here. They've gone to more of a silhouette type look in your uh, window treatment. Instead of having those hard day night shades like you have up in the front, they went with a more softer look, more pleated, having more of that bedroom feel to it and a different look altogether than what you see up in the front. Nice clean finish and a lot of room to get yourself together in this bedroom. And you're gonna see that a lot as you walk through this coach, you'll walk in into, the, into the full bathroom in the back, you'll again see that the tile changes. That large shower stall, as you can see, is um, quite dramatic, showering for one or two. You've got a nice seat in there, which does help. And uh, you've got all sorts of options on that shower system as well. Going from a rain to a higher pressure. You've got unlimited supply of hot water in this coach with that Oasis system, which is gonna give you a much hotter, longer shower than you're used to getting in the King Air or any model coach for, for that matter. Um, again, going over to the sink area, they've done some improvements over there. They've got a multi-angle faucet there. That faucet will spray water either straight down or it'll change that eight degrees forward or straight down, which gives you a nice little option there for what that, how that water comes out of the faucet, whether you wanna be washing your hands or get some water up on your face. Just makes it a little nicer than the standard faucets that come in the coaches. And then again, you have your controls for the options in this coach, whether it be the water pumps or the lights and um, settings for those lights over here on the left and that control panel over here. You also have one of those sensors that'll light up automatically when you come in this coach, in this, in this room in the, in the coach, right over here. So if you wanted that on, all you'd have to do is turn that on. And then every time you come in this bathroom, the light will come on. Very, very nice bathroom doors this year. You'll see what I mean once you get to open one. A lot heavier, more robust, and just a, a very dramatic look to them. They've gone ahead and uh, moved the satellite system and the um, Blu-ray items like that and put them back here. Just leaving, again, more space in the front for items that you use every day. Satellite, you know, will be able to uh, remote access that from the front, but you don't need to have that hardware right up in the front with you all the time. So that's back here now, and you have your safe back here as well, along with a little shoe compartment to um, hide away any of those things that you don't use every day, um, along with uh, some additional storage for hanging items and uh, shelf items as well in here, as, as you can see. This coach is one of the few coaches that come equipped with a bathroom exit door. This bathroom exit door has a ladder that will extend and it is a reusable door. Some manufacturers do offer an exit door that once it's opened, you have to get a whole new door. Numar doesn't believe in that. If you want to open that door, you can access that door for an emergency exit or you can access that door just to open the door and get some air in the coach when you're at the campground. Maybe you wanted to bring some stuff into the bathroom um, and you just didn't want to come through the whole coach with it. You can do that as well. Numar is using the Bosch system this year. It is using a 220. This 220 is a higher power dryer than the um, some of the lower model Numars and most other brands out there. It's just gonna be more like the residential style dryer that you have that is going to dry your clothes much faster. Biggest complaints, and one of the biggest complaints out there in the RV industry or with RVers is that the dryer takes too long to dry their clothes. This isn't gonna be a complaint of yours in this RV. This is gonna dry your clothes just as fast as they dry your clothes at home. Plus it's very large capacity. You're gonna find you can put a pretty large load in here, both in the washer and in the dryer. So Numar hasn't eliminated the storage under the bed that everybody likes having. You can see you can put quite a bit of stuff under there. Um, you also have the additional, on this coach, you have the additional dual leafs for that table up in the front. But yeah, that storage is a big, big factor and a lot of coaches don't have all that storage that you're gonna see in here. You can put quite a bit of things under there as well as if you get the table and chair option, you can put those chairs under here and not affect most, you know, they need storage in the closet or under in the bays underneath. And also, as we haven't looked at over here, is how deep these drawers are here. You can see how deep they are and you can put quite a bit of items in there as well. 
you got a very nice half bath. Again, quite a bit of space in there. And you have a access to your central vac and dust pan right there in that bathroom. Good counter space. Just a really, really good amount of space that Numar is giving you. And they've eliminated those handles on their doors. Keeps that nice and flush so none of your clothes get caught on there. As we talked about, these are power. So these do are designed for you to have a larger dining table. But as I said, some people also use them just to kick back on. So if you don't have those sofas in the front, like I said, with this coach here, and those pillows were back in the uh, backs were back in the closet back there, but not having that those sofas because you have the fireplace, you could utilize that as like a little love seat there. Or, just kick back in the corner, put your feet up, and now you have another place to kind of kick up and watch the watch that TV. So there, there is a multi-use for that, not just using it as a as a booth. It does come in handy when this kind of coach. You just kind of think outside the box when you're in a motorhome, not just using it just like you would in a home. But yeah, these uh these do come in real handy and become more popular lately. So Numars came up with uh, some new features on their massage seating this year. They've moved the heating to the massage control, as well as a cooling option. So this is a nice feature. It used to always be on the side over here in the middle and would fall into the center here. They've moved it over to the left side now, just making it nice and easy. And the passenger also has one as well. So that's just a nice upgrade that they've done to the King Air this year, along with a nice leather, which is just gonna make this a nice, nice, comfortable seat. These seats are a total upgrade over what, the, what they were in the past. And you'll notice that immediately after sitting in this seat. So up on the dash now you've got a lot of different changes just to make it easier for you. So you can look up here and you can go to your auto level. You can change from your level to your from your auto level you can go to your high ride to your low ride which used to be over on your side. You've also got your compartment doors where you can check and see your status of your compartment doors there. Jesus. You've got your comfort drive right there now. So from there you can go ahead and change your comfort drive setting from right there on your, on your dash, which used to be a knob over here on the side, which just makes it nice for when you're driving down the road. You could have everything right here on your, on your smart wheel instead of having to change from your smart wheel and having to move over to a knob. Now this knob over here is just for your brake. You also have, this coach has a standard trailer brake. So that would be the intensity of the way your trailer brake stops the brake, stops the brake on your trailer that you, if you were towing like a, uh, a trailer, an enclosed trailer or a, anything that has a standard trailer brake on it. You see all these other options we have here. Tire pressure monitoring system. Another nice feature, it's going to let you know what the tire pressure is, giving you your front left, front right, rear left outside, rear left inside, rear right inside, rear right outside, tag left, tag right. Very nice laid out, easy for you to read. It tells you the pressure, the temperature, and if there's a leak. It's nice to know if there's a leak on these things and not that only if that you have low pressure. It'll detect if you're actually actively leaking air so that if you know you need to pull over and get that fixed. If you happen to have a two-wheel tow system and you added the that tire pressure monitoring system to that, you could add that system to here as well. Now we're back to the standard dash, which will just bring your RPMs in your drive, your fuel, temperature, oil, air, and def on this coach. By the way, this coach does have Def fueling on filling on both sides. Over here you can have the tire pressure monitoring system up so you can always be looking at it. Adaptive cruise right now is disabled, but what that's going to do is it's going to monitor if there is a car in front of you. The adaptive cruise will change your cruise control speed to the speed of the vehicle that is in front of you so you don't collide with it. Um, that's going to be a little different than the collision mitigation system, which is over here under CMS. CMS is going to actually bring you to a complete stop using both 
engine brake and foot brake or wheel brakes. So those are two different systems. And this coach is also equipped with the Mobileye technology. Mobileye is going to monitor if anything is out in the, in the road while you're driving. That is going to come in very, very handy if you do night driving. More and more people are driving the coaches at night with all this new technology on here. This coach, being as advanced as it is with the CMS, the collision mitigation system, the ACC, the adaptive cruise control, the comfort drive, the mobile eye, having all that technology at your disposal is going to make night driving very, very attractive. And, you know, in a luxury motorhome like this, you know, that, that's the kind of stuff that, you're, you know, that, that's what you're paying for. And, you know, a lot, you know, so many motorhomes now, you have that stuff, but you don't really have the ride to go along with it. Numar is offering you those items and giving you a true luxury riding motorhome. This coach is going to give you the effect of riding, whether it's, you know, your favorite luxury automobile that you've, you may own, um, you're going to really feel as if you've gotten out of that old pickup truck and got it into your luxury automobile when you take this motorhome out on the road. It isn't going to be the feel of a just another motorhome, just another rig. You have upgraded into the ultimate luxury riding machine by going into the King Air. As far as navigation, cameras, visibility, I talked a little bit about the bird's eye view we have on this coach. Now, um, you have many, many views on this coach. You have the a side view. Whenever you hit these, it's going to bring up a view on your coach. You may be sitting at the campground, you may have just pulled into a campground. Maybe you want to see how much room you have on the sides. Maybe you want to see what you got around your coach before you decide that you're in the right spot. You can do that. You can also do split screen. You can do a trailer cam or a quad screen. But that's the that's the, what's people really like to have is this total coach view. So if you were driving on the highway and you have this bird's eye view, now it's a little distorted now because I've got my slide rooms out and stuff, so you're only gonna see my slide over here. But as you can see, if I was driving down the road, I would be able to notice if I had cars driving up alongside over here, if I had anything behind me or in front of me or on this side of me. So even the most novice driver in this motorhome, again, having all this technology at his fingertips or her fingertips, driving this coach with this visibility, all this technology, again, the adaptive cruise, the collision mitigation, the comfort drive, this is going to make driving a coach, even though it, the length may be a little intimidating, once you're behind the, the wheel and see the level of comfort and ease, you're going to realize that it's, it's really nothing to it and you're going to really enjoy and probably become one of your favorite vehicles to drive. My name is John Proda. This was a 2021 Newmark King Air. If you like this video, please like and subscribe.